Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss with you Infosys manager round interview questions and answers related to DevOps engineer role. As you know, I already cleared the Infosys interview and I got the offer from Infosys as well. I already published my Infosys interview experience video on my channel. If you haven't watched that video yet, then do watch that video. I'll put link in the description box. So let's start the video. So basically Infosys manager round interview basically focuses on your thought process. Okay and you have to show them positive intent and can-do approach. If you show them the positive intent and can-do approach, then they will definitely select you, okay? So I'll discuss some interview questions, manager round interview questions with you. So whatever questions I got during my interview, I'm going to discuss with you, okay? So first question was on my introduction. So basically he asked me about my introduction. I gave him my introduction. So basically I started with my name, then the, my past companies, my past experience. Then the skills and achievements, like achievements we like certifications, then the manager appreciations like this, okay. Then I came to my family background and my hobbies. So you have to give them your brief introduction. After introduction, he asked me about my past projects, okay. Past projects. So I've explained him my past projects, like whatever CI CD pipeline I have built during my past projects. So I explained all the CI CD pipelines to him, okay. So basically I have worked on 5 to 6 projects. So I have explained all the projects, all 5 to 6 projects to him. Whatever tools I had used during that project. So I explained all the tools to him. So I speak a lot during these questions. About I guess 7 to 10 minutes I speak on this question. Okay. So I had explained briefly about my past projects. So I took almost 7 to 10 minutes to explain all these 5 projects. After that he asked me question on Agile methodology. Okay. So Agile methodology. So let me explain you what are the questions he asked. In the Agile methodology, he asked me question on what is the difference between, okay, between Agile and DevOps. So basically I had explained him the difference between Agile and DevOps. So I answered like this, like uh, what is the difference between Agile and DevOps. So I explained him the software development lifecycle first, like what are the different phases of software development lifecycle, then the what is the difference between waterfall model. So earlier company used to follow waterfall model, right? So there is no continuous feedback during waterfall model. Then came Agile methodology. So in case of Agile methodology, there is a continuous feedback, but there is no continuous integration. And in DevOps, there is a continuous integration, then the continuous feedback, then the continuous deployment, continuous delivery. So I explain in this context. So let me show you software development lifecycle first. So this is Azure methodology. You can read here. So in the Azure methodology, there is some, you know, interactive and incremental development, then the continuous feedback. See, we have achieved continuous feedback in the Azure methodology, but during waterfall model, there is no continuous feedback. Then the, so these are the some benefits of Agile. Then the same, these are the some popular Agile methodologies. See, Scrum, Kanban. So basically many companies use this Scrum methodology. And this is the SDLC models. Okay, software development life cycle. So this is the life cycle, like planning, defining, then the designing, building, testing and deployment. So this is the software development life cycle. And under software development life cycle, there are different types of software development life cycle. So most famous type is this one, waterfall model. So there are multiple differences between Agile and DevOps. So basically Agile works on development and the DevOps works on development plus operation. And DevOps is an improvement of the Agile methodology. Okay. So basically there are different different sprints. Okay. After that he asked me questions about sprints. Okay. So let me type here. See in the Agile methodology itself he asked me about my sprints, project sprints. Sprints and some tools like which tools you guys are using for you know track all the tickets and all these things so i explain him all the tools okay to track all the tickets and all the process all the progress okay so first i explain him about the jira okay in my previous like past company we used to track all the things in jira and in current projects i am using azure devops okay azure devops boards so like that i have explained him so basically I explained him about the sprints. Okay. So basically we used to follow one, two, three weeks duration of sprints and how we track all the tickets and the, all the progress during that sprints. So that thing I have explained him. Then he asked me questions on releases. Okay. Project releases. So I explained him the project releases. So basically we have a dev environment, then the QA environment, then the 
staging environment and the prod environment so these are the four environments so i explain him all these four environments to him like dev environment then the after dev then there is a queue environment so queue testing is done during this queue environment then the stage environment and there is a prod environment so up to this like dev queue and stage there is a continuous integration and the continuous delivery and for this prod we have a manual approval okay and after that we deployed our code into the prod if everything is working on stage then we deploy that code to the prod but there is a manual approval okay so like that i have explained him the releases practices okay then he asked me about my team size like current project team size team size and your role your role in team so i explained him the team size so like overall like 30 people in the team like in the devops team there are only 3 people who are managing all the devops stuff there is a qa team then there is a development team so qa team for testing so there is a manual testing team then the development team then the monitoring team so i explain him my current team size so basically we have a 30 people in a team like uh, including dms and the project manager so basically i explain him the hierarchy so first one is a dm so below dm dm means delivery manager okay so below dm there is a project manager so that dm is one person below dm there is a project manager so project manager can be one or two person okay so some projects have two managers some projects have only one manager okay below project manager there are senior engineers like solution architect level engineers who are having like almost 12 to 13 years of experience so these guys are there below project manager so these guys can be solution architect or lead okay lead means suppose there is one guy development guy okay developer who is having almost 12 years of experience so he is a dev team lead then there is a devops guy who is having almost 12 to 13 years of experience so he is a lead of that dev team then there is a qa team then there are you know 7 to 10 people under the dev team then the devops team having you know three members so below this tech lead there are multiple senior and junior engineers are working like 7 to 8 people is working under dev team then the devops team having 3 or 4 members then the qa team having 3 or 4 members then the monitoring team having 3 or 4 members okay so i explain him all the hierarchy starting from dm to the junior engineers then about my role in the team so i have explained him my role in the team okay so i have explained him like like i worked on the devops team i am responsible for creating ci cd pipeline then the creating this dev environment then the qa stage prod environment resources in the cloud using terraform then if suppose there is some issue come during the releases suppose dev qa and stage then i am responsible to look into that issues and troubleshoot that issue as early as possible so this is my role okay so you can explain your role in the team then your team size then the your environments like suppose someone having two stage environment two dev environment okay so like that you can explain your environments then this print like whatever tools you guys are using then you have to explain them the tools then the in the agile methodology you can read more about agile methodology devops then the software development life cycle then your past projects then you can explain your past projects like you have to give brief explanation about your past projects so this is most important questions okay about past projects so overall interview was about you know 45 minutes so he was just checking my you know intent like how i answered the questions like i already told you right so you have to show them positive intent if suppose you don't know about the answer okay if you ask some question and you don't know about the answer then you can tell them like i don't know about this answer i'll definitely read about this okay so you have to answer like this if suppose you don't know the answer that doesn't mean they will fail you okay because that manager guy also knows like you have a knowledge you cracked the technical interview and you reach in that manager round okay it means you have potential so you have to show them positive intent and can do approach so i hope this video will help you for your infosys manager round interview if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section till then bye bye